Hey everybody, this is Josh James with KeepTurning.com. Uh, I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of how to use folders in Photoshop. I had a few people ask me about this, and uh, anybody who's used Photoshop, you know that organization <laughs> sometimes is key to figuring out what you're doing in there, especially if you know you're going to be turning a file, a working file over to a, another artist or designer. Um, Nothing worse than getting a file that has 8,000 layers unnamed and they're all over the place and you're right clicking through them trying to find the one that you need. So uh, this is going to be real simple and uh, let's let's start. So uh, open up Photoshop. I got a file here. Um, just has background and these four characters on it. And uh, right now you see they're, they're all separate just laying there. Um, but say we want to keep the characters grouped together. So this this main section, what what you do is highlight the uh, four characters, the layers for them, and then hit Command G for group. And that's going to put them all in one folder. So now if you grab that folder, and you switch to your Move tool, Command V or uh, not Command V, just V. Uh, you can move them around, and they're as long as you're grabbing that folder, they all move as one. You can open that folder up then and individually grab characters or individual layers and move those about on their own as well. Uh, kind of, it's a, a simple way to to make your layers easier to work through and, and see what you have. I mean, just like working with a filing cabinet is basically how this works. Um, and it also gives the same effect of linking layers together instead of having to actually chain them together. Um, this gives you the ability to move them and and uh, just work with them. Same thing, turning them off, you hit that, turns them all off. So and if you double click on the, uh, the name, you can rename it. We'll say we'll name it characters. If I could spell, that would help. All right, there we go. I think that's right. And uh, the... What's great too is anything you put inside these folders, um, you have the same controls over them. It, it affects all the layers contained inside of it. So say we want to change the opacity of these characters, make them kind of ghostly. Instead of having to go to each and every layer, you can click the opacity and change it for the folder, and it's going to do it for everything inside the folder. Same thing for uh, switching out what kind of layer. If you want to go from a normal layer to... Um, I don't know, multiply, it's anything inside is going to be affected by that. So that's the basics for setting it up. Um, one thing that I want to add, um, if you've messed with uh, layer masks and linking them in there, like say we have a, say we have a layer here, and what I'm going to do is we're just going to paint something on here. Uh, let me get brush tool. Um, we just need any color. Here we go. Let's just say, let's make it blue so it stands out. So, what I'm going to show here is if we have a layer and we brush this stroke over top of it. Oh, let's get a different color. I thought I had a light blue. Okay. So, if we brush this color over top, right, it's affecting everything. Now, if you hold down your option key between two layers, it will make the layer above only affect the one it's connected to. So if you click between them, now it only affects that layer. Now this works, you can take a layer and do that to a folder. The thing is, it doesn't work in reverse. You can't take this layer of characters, you can't mask them to the layer below um, inside the folder. The only way to get away with that is to right click on the, uh, the layer, convert it to a smart object, now let's reverse them. Now I could do that where, oops, have to have it on, that once they become a smart object and they're one piece, you can then mask them to that layer below. Uh, that might be a, that's getting a little advanced if you're just trying to figure out folders at this point, but it's something to keep in mind when you're working with them that there are some things folders can't do and masking them to the layer below them is something they can't do without being converted over. Um, that's pretty much it. So if you have any questions, uh, shoot me an email or uh, 
hit me up on Facebook. Uh, we're on there at Facebook Keep Turning. Uh, that's it. All right. Hope everybody's doing good. Talk to you later. Bye.